Hi guys, what's up? It's Romy and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So welcome back to a CC wedding dress haul try on stitch. So I'm doing this one a little bit different. Normally I will go through and I will shop and see what's there and you'll watch me pick some pieces and then I'll put them in the game and show you but today I'm just going to show you what I have collected over the time because I mean I have already got quite a lot of CC wedding dresses and I have added to it as well so I've got our lovely lineup of ladies from the Royals household if you've not watched that check it out I'll put a card in at the top or something so you can start watching that but these are our lovely uh, royal ladies who are due to be getting married well some of them are due to be getting married some of them not just yet we've got uh here is daphne she's about to get married to prince james who will eventually become king we've got arabella she is engaged to daphne's brother and she will be becoming a duchess uh we've got gabrielle she is engaged to arabella's brother it's all very within the family and she will become a marchioness um, and then we have uh, Helia, she is going to be queen in her own right of Solani. She is currently um, betrothed, engaged, she's somewhere well about to be um, engaged, but it's an arranged marriage and she kind of likes somebody else and she's not sure what she's going to do, whether to respect her father's wishes and marry for an alliance or go against her father and marry for love. So that's there. We have got uh Lillian who is um she well since her sister is being married off her family title goes to her but she's actually um with a guy who's of no royal title um and their mother doesn't really like that so those two are twins obviously as you can tell uh, but yeah mommy dearest isn't best pleased that she's not backed herself a royal uh regal title husband i guess so she's pretty upset but she is going to be marrying for love and she just doesn't really care about it and her father is like yeah you marry who you want to marry sweetie and then we've got katrina over here who's actually just gone off to university and she is not engaged to anybody but i just put thought i'd put her in so we can try some fun dresses on here that i've downloaded which aren't quite as regal um, so she'll be modelling those for us and maybe one day she will be wearing one. Who knows? Or maybe she just won't because she might not want to get married. But still, hey ho. Here we go. So I'm going to show you what I've kind of got with Daphne. I'm just going to click through, show you where I've gotten from. Um, majority of them are from three main sites who do Sims wedding dresses. I mean, this dress that she has got on, you can just change the colour of it. And you can have it in ivory uh, or white um and yeah you could use that as a wedding dress if you so wanted to but i have got actual wedding dresses for that thing for for them as well so the main three are john sims beo creations and colores urbanos i believe that is that's the ones with where can i find one they've got like a little heart in the corner not that heart in the corner like that creation these ones here so I'll start from the top um, and we'll just work our way down. This one is, I think, this one's upgraded times three. It can be a wedding dress, but it can be others. Um, this is actually the one that the twins wear to the parties, but they wear it with patterned lace. Uh, I'll show you. I think it's it there for more. It's a party. It's that one. That's quite a plain one. Um, this is Daphne's tiara. Her family, I said, were like distant cousins of that. So they may have come from like a different royal family somewhere else along the line that might not be like in the storyline. But she's got her own tiara. All my, well, not all of my tiaras, majority of my tiaras are from Bats from Westeros. They are amazing at tiaras. And let me tell you, they're, the tiaras that they use are based mainly, I think, off the royal family, but they could be like other royal families as well. But they are absolutely gorgeous and divine. And that cc creator is really good at making tiaras and they've also got some brooches as well and then other bits of royal paraphernalia and they're just really good and stuff so this one is a beo creations one this is quite an old one but you probably might have seen it in other people's sims videos but this is the regal royal dress and oh my gosh isn't daphne just pulling it off beautifully she doesn't have that as her wedding dress then <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of the one that I had in mind for her anyway, or one that I think I've got that's similar to that. But I mean, ugh, it's just perfect. Pretty, pretty princess right there. This one is somebody that I don't actually know who it's from. I think it's quite a recent wedding dress. I will try and find it and I'll try and put a link below for it. But yeah, that's just quite a pretty and quite real S looking. Maybe one of the girls could have that. Again, it comes in more colours. Oh, we could go for like a tie dye like effect. So this one's BEO Creations. I've had these for quite some time. Um, so we've got a nice fishtail style dress here. That's pretty. I have downloaded some dresses and I don't know where they are as well. I'm kind of annoyed with that. I've spent some time. And I've downloaded like loads of multiple flowers as well. Can I find them? Nope, I can't. So we've got another A line here. Some of the dresses, the meshes in these, I mean, like, I don't know how you'd get them to sit properly, but some of them make them look kind of funny in it. I think making wedding dresses is quite hard because not loads of people do them. If I learned how to do it, that would be something I'd quite like to dabble in, making CC, but I think it's kind of hard to do. This is a fishtail wedding dress as well. That just proper flares out of the knee at the bottom. So this is one with the lace top. This again is quite regal looking you've got the lace top over the top of it it's pretty it's nice this one i believe you can have yeah you can I have it in ivory as well oops this is the dress that uh, queen helena has she has it in multiple colors i think she's got it in green and a blue but yeah that's kind of pretty but i don't think one of our girls are gonna have it because queen helena 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 has got it um Got this one which is a bit deceiving because i thought it came with a top bit and i don't think it is on accessories let me just so these are the brooches that come with you just pin them on and they sit in different places obviously you can't really see an either they come in different colors okay so you can kind of see the green there but it doesn't really work with an ivory dress but it's not really what you'd put on with that that's kind of more stately affairs coronations things like that no 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 so I have got some flowers, but they weren't the right flowers. There was a big cute bunch of flowers, but I don't know what happened to it or where they are. Maybe they're in something else. Um, let's go to the top, because sometimes you can find some stuff in like accessories and like hats and stuff. So these are the crowns. I've got loads. I've got veils as well, but as you see, if I put that on, the crown will come off. And she's a princess and she needs a tiara. And then we've got this one, which is a similar to that one just a plain version again it looks like that's got a belt on it but it doesn't that's just a plain plain jane one then we've got this big frou-frou she can get different tops to it but it's the one but it's too low for a royalty too low for a royalty this one i really like this is pretty i like i love the back on it the dot with the diamantes it looks like diamante strap detailing that's pretty again is that not well, regal enough is like you have to cover your arms and stuff if you look at pictures of royal family members that have got married in the past they do tend to have like a sleeve that covers it up these are bats from westros this is not wedding dresses these are like coronation dresses but the kilt um this is the redheads in one no you can't have that one these are more like formal bullgown ones this is a newish bo creations and it is pretty though i don't really think that's her not at all that's not you, hon. It's just not. Oh, you can have it in pretty colours. So you could go for a pale pink if you wanted to spice it up and have something a bit different. That is like quite wedding y or blue. You used to. I work, or well, my mum owns a bridal shop. Um, so the used to. It's not, well, kind of comes in and out where you have pink dresses and blue dresses and stuff. It's just something a bit different. My mum got married in a pink wedding dress as well, which was back in the 90s. But no, if you wanted something a bit different, you could do it, but that dress just doesn't suit you. It's still that first one, I think. Then we got this one. Oh, no, this was, was this one? I think this might be a BEO Creations one, but it might be an old one. That's pretty, this, that suits you a bit better. That's kind of like a plain jane short dress. A poofy sleeve dress. No, I don't really think that's you. This is a big, ooh, and this one, if you really wanted to, comes with a veil so i could have a veil and tiara look however this just ain't the screaming pretty pretty princess like the other one did um and then i've got some down here this is another jump one this is very 
Belbelicious. Oh, I can see her nip nips nearly, but you can't. She's from, I think it's Mabel it's pronounced, and they make all the kind of like dresses like this and this these kind of dresses that you'd see like for the Met Gala and stuff like that so they're cute and then I have got this one I've had it for ages Bebra 32 and it's just like a nice fresh tail dress with that I just thought there was another one like a biggish one actually you know what that is 100% a biggish one where is it this is one that comes with the romantic pack where you get uh I think you get some like furnishings and stuff like that as well as this and those men's suits i kind of use the men's suits quite a lot because there just really isn't anything for men i know that's gonna be your dress but the rest is all the one and i can't find it <laughs> and i know i've 100 got it because i got it before i downloaded stuff right well it's a johnson one as well i'm sure it is how that's pretty but you can't well you can change colors if you wanted a red wedding dress or a blue wedding dress or something like that john sims is really good um for wedding dresses but it's kind of hard to navigate the site i'm not gonna lie <gasps> is it this one no that one didn't come up oh i think it's below it it's below it this one i was thinking of i'd have to take a necklace off that's very real <gasps> yeah this one this was the one i was thinking of kapow oh that's pretty but i don't know if i like the other one more oh wait she did have that tiara on then that was weird did you see that but then it clips that makes it look really weird it's gone all shiny if I take that off and then we could have no tiara and then we can just have a veil. See that's okay if you're not a royal sim but since you are a royal sim. Pretty tiara. See that's a real tiara. I think they're all real tiaras. That's a real tiara. That's a real tiara. That's an Anastasia real tiara. That's what the tiaras that the Tsar and Tsarina has. That's real. That's real. That's the one that Princess Eugenie wore for her wedding, I believe. I can't remember which one me again wore. Um, I can't remember which one Kate wore either. Kate, then I think Megan wanted to wear that one. No, the top one which we put on the one with the pearl dots, the one that Diana wore anyway. I think she wanted to wear that, and the Queen wouldn't give it to her. So yeah. And I can't remember what Kate wore a really pretty one as well. Actually, I really kind of liked that one. For Princess Eugenie. I think that was really pretty. I think that was Princess Mary of Tex. Tiara, I think. I don't know which was the Queen's grandmother. Um, <laughs> this is just what I think. I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on it. But I've got a feeling it might have been. Um, this is not actually a real tiara. This is a pretend tiara. <laughs> this is, I think this was for a Game of Thrones, I think. But it's really pretty. I think that's gonna, I think. I mean, I'm not sold on the hair yet and I'll do a redo her makeup. But this is just a test look of what we're gonna have. So let's move on to the other girlies because, um, yeah, we don't wanna, I don't wanna just hog on there. Oh, so Arabella is becoming a duchess. I think, well, would she, I guess she would have the next most royalist wedding marrying into to become what does she look like in that dress oh this is on what's there i didn't mean to do that see wow your formal wear is really boring <laughs> i think i was going for like a blue theme because she'd had blue but i sure like that would be more fun or something like that you can have all these in ivory as well proper pretty 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 mm -mm -mm. she suits a fishtail I think that's a bit risque, not gonna lie. Uh, that one, that's pretty risque. That one's like a bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> to take off formal because it's chucking up. I'm missing loads of dresses. This is the Anastasia dress that Anastasia wears. She could have that because she's a ginger, just like me. Um, that actually kind of suits her, <laughs> but not for a wedding dress. Um, that's with a veil. And her head's really far away from it, so they probably not. That's it without, though. She's suiting these slimmer dresses. I'm not going to lie. She's kind of shooting anything at the moment. She's got the figure for anything and everything. Are you... What about this one? 
Oh, this one's got to go. I didn't show you this one, did I? This one didn't come up either. This one's got a really pretty back. Um, let me just make her hair short a sec. See, that is a really pretty back. Do we want to see a blonde Arabella? She suits being blonde. But I prefer with her other hair. Look at that bum. She's got a good bum. You know what I'm like for Sims and bums. Let's put your hair back. Live, since we need to check you out. Star Lord, that one is. Again, I'm not quite sure where I got that from, but I've had it for ages. Oh, that's pretty. What about this one? <laughs> Might have found a winner. It makes their bum look really big, though, but like, in a what's it way, but you know what? I ain't hating it. I think I'd have to put her hair a bit more up, I think. Ginger heads are so hard to find. That's pretty. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty. What about the big ones? Oh, there's this one. Pretty. That's pretty. They're more plain. I just wish they kind of had a bit more to them. What about a frou frou? A frou frou. Just for the minute, just so I can see what I'm working with here. That's the baby one. How about we go for something totally different? She can have a gold. That hair's not exactly the same shade as the other one. I got to say, I think for her, I am leaning towards this one the most. I think let's have a look with the hair up. Actually, now I don't know. I don't know if I like it as much with the hair up. Why do my boobs look low? Do you, do your boobs need to come up a little bit? Is this your dress? Are we saying yes to this dress? Maybe I'm kind of come back to it. So she's kind of thought it. She thought it. And you are actually due to be wed, so let's have a look. I don't know if a skinny dress will suit her better. Let's put you in the pretty princess dress. It's Daphne's dress. It suits her, but it's Daphne's dress. I mean, it suits everybody, but it's just Daphne. What about you in this one? Oh, that's pretty. Boobylicious. I could imagine her not being bothered about getting her tartars out. Uh, that one doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that one on her. What do you look like in a sling? Yeah, you see that. What do with that? What about this one? I haven't shown anybody this one. This one's a bit baby and it's not the right colour. Slay classy. Mm -mm -mm. God no. See, Arabella see it that she do not. She actually suits it though. I think the veil would look funny when she's walking. Don't know, she does suit it though. No, I don't think that suits her. This one doesn't come in, what's it? This one's here if it comes in. <laughs> she could have a black wedding dress. Ugh. That's sexy. Suits her better. Again, she's a regally. Being a regal eagle. Let's sort out your hair. Put you on a tiara. Did Megan have this one? Maybe she had one like that, I don't know. Let's put a necklace on you. A pile. Not I mean she needs lighter makeup on. And I'd probably change the hair, but I was just looking at what it would be like, half up, half down ish kind of thing. I need some more wedding hair. But I like it. I think that suits her. I don't know if I'm going to show these. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to show their weddings or I might put them. I'm, I'm thinking about starting an Instagram page where I'm going to put some poses on of our royal families. Um, I will let you know if I do do that, it's just a thought I've been looking through and seeing what people have on Instagram on The Sims and I've seen quite a few pages and stuff and I know some people tell stories to them so I don't know whether I might branch off and do some people's stories on Instagram and do little stories, maybe, not sure, yeah, if you want me to do that leave a comment below um, and I will see if it's a go or not, see what everybody thinks. Um, who should we do next, Halia is about to be engaged so i guess she might be next um it would be cool if i could find like a traditional do, what do they wear traditionally let's have a look traditional oh so they seem to wear one with patterns on but it's more like their patterns i could see if i could get one but then some of the people are wearing uh like normal wedding dresses as well i guess i could do two so she could have a traditional one and a not so traditional one as in a she could have her culture and then a, a westernized cultured one 
maybe what colors do you come in because their colors are kind of like not the pink it's more like the, the goldy kind of color the orange no that's scary maybe not i know you do wear yellow because you're like kind of a happy kind of galley I don't know why I'm just putting you in the yellow. <laughs> oh, va va voom, lady. I don't think your father would approve, but I like. She suits. She suits it totally. What about? Kapow! She suits that as well, though, to be fair. Kapow. No, she doesn't suit it. Oh, she really does suit that as well, though. <laughs> Daphne, she's coming for your dress, girl. She just really suits that one, but I'd like want to put like a jacket or straps on it, but she does really see that one. And we haven't had uh, anybody with a slim kind of dress, so she could be breaking the trends. I haven't got, there is a flower crown, um, that's from Westeros Do a Hawaiian-y sort of florally crown, which I think I want to download and put on her, but for now she can have her tiara because why not? And then she'd need a necklace, but I think she'd probably, maybe let's try to drop a drop down one. I think we need like a thinner necklace. Bet I like the drop on it. <laughs> yes, but I will see if I, if there is any, I bet I but I can see if there's any sort of tribally wedding dresses. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm so proud of my girls. Um, then we got these two ladies. So she actually has got a boyfriend. But they're kind of not in a rush at the moment to... You know, I think she's gonna let her sister get, you know, whatever. She's kind of always, she's a little quieter twin, I would say. Oh my God, she looks gorgeous. Mm, no, she sees it one more. No, well, she kind of sees it. She does actually kind of see that one, you know. I know it's like very covered up. But she's kind of like anti-traditional, so. My mouse has just disappeared. Hello, there you are. So maybe she goes for like a really traditional wedding dress. That's actually really pretty on her. Shall I put a tiara on you? Though I don't know if you'd have a tiara. Maybe you just have like the uh, not regal tiara. I like that. It's pretty on her. That was an easy one. Easy fix. I don't think we need to scroll through and have a look. And then for this little lady, I was thinking something just a little bit different. I'm not, she's not even with anybody and I'm not committing her to this yet she may have a full out wedding dress but this is just something different something fun she looks really pretty in that her outfits oh not that one <laughs> i'm really pretty that is gorgeous on her it's gorgeous i'm telling gorgeous um what do you look like in this one since it's here oh that one's gone funny because she's got something on and i can't think what it is oh are we in accessories is it accessories? I'm gonna have to strip you of your accessories. Oh my god, actually, she really suits that. Daphne, uh, I know Arabella, sorry, the dress is gone. It is Katarina. So she's not even getting married. I think she just looks to be somebody that looks good in anything. Oh, Bella Leisure. Just something short and fun. Like that, but now I've put that on her, I'm just like, oh, she really suits a proper wedding dress. I don't want to deprive her of that factor. She does suit that though. She really suits that. She, she suits that. Oh my god, she, she suits anything. Um, you're gonna be a hard customer. What about this one? I really like this dress. I'm gonna it. Yeah, she suits that. It's a bit plain though, but she suits it. That's black. That'll be black as well. Yeah, but she's suiting everything. I put her in. Of course. Of course, she'd suit that. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I kind of like her in the other one though. <laughs> Bit more. Doo -doo. And of course we'll style you with the tiara as well because that's fair, as fair can be. Let's pick you a, I don't know, have I had that tiara? We'll have this tiara. I think, yeah, this one, the Cambridgeshire not. I think that was the one that Diana wore. It's very similar to that one. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, so we have got Daphne, so she's going to be princess in the pretty, pretty princess dress. Oh, love, 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 love. Oh, just love it. Wish I could put a veil on with it, but I can't. Nobody makes veils either. I do that. Arabella, I do need to sort out her hair. I'm just not convinced on the hair. 
the Sarabella's dress. Oh, like that makes it look super old, that hairstyle does. It's got brooch in the back as well. I like. Okay, and then we've got Word Oil. Nope. Gabriella, see I'm getting confused between the twins. Gabriella is more of a plainer dress, but she suits it. It's big and princessy, and I like the straps. It kinda gives me an Audrey Hepburn sort of vibe. And then her sister, Lillian, is in the quite covered up, very traditional, but it suits her wedding dress. And then we have Helia in this lovely slinky number with the bow it's cute and then last but not least Katrina in this little number they're all kind of like more real and more traditional you know it's your wedding day ladies wear what you like I hope I've given you some inspiration of what wedding dresses are out there on the sims I know it's sort of hard to find them um I will try link links below to the pages of the wedding dresses so that's John Jom Jom Sims. That has a lot on there. I have a lot that's got a lot of dress on there as well, like just like party kind of dresses and stuff as well. Um BEO Creations, um, which you do kinda of have to fiddle around downloading the files into them because they're raw files. So that was kinda of difficult to do. Um but I worked it out. You can do it, it's just a bit fiddly to do. And last but not least uh uh ban no uh, uh, the heart one which is i think it's colors um uh, banos or something like this yeah colors are banos i believe sorry if i am pronouncing that wrong which i probably am but they are there so that is my little wedding dress cc haul um this isn't the final look because obviously i want to do makeup and i want to do um, hair because I'm not happy with all the hairs. I've got some wedding rings as well. These are on here. I don't know where I got them. I've had these for ages. Look, she's got some flowers in her hands as well. We can change the colours of those. I wish I'd got the other um, flowers but they didn't download unfortunately. And the veils which you can't mix and match which is a shame. But they are there. Um, if you have enjoyed this video please do leave it a like. Um, in this time i would appreciate it every time i get a like or a subscriber it makes me happy so if you could share the love that would be great please subscribe to me and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye